Hi guys, welcome back to another decluttering video. I feel like these videos are always my kind of, I wanna say worst to film and to do just because it is so much work. But let me tell you, the high you get, the clean mind, the tidy space, the lovely thing to look at that you get from doing this task, makes it all worthwhile. So we are gonna be decluttering my wardrobes. I have got the Ikea Cax, Cax? <laughs> Pax wardrobes. If you haven't seen before, I've done an Ikea Pax tour, which I will link for you in the description bar, but it has got so messy and so untidy and so difficult to get dressed. Like that is the key thing. When your wardrobe is nice and tidy and organized, it's just a joy to get dressed compared to at the moment where I'm like trying to get in between all the hangers and everything like that. So what I'm thinking now is because it is end of April and although in the UK, I'm not gonna talk about it because that's a cliche, but it has been terrible weather. It's just rained all the time. Um, although it has been like that, it is coming into summer. So I need to maybe sort out my winter stuff. So that stuff that I didn't wear last winter that I was holding on for just in case I wore it. That's going, honey. That's either going in the, lo in the loft, onto Vinted and to the charity shop. So I'll be sorting through some of those things. Uh, I've done a whole Vinted, how to use Vinted and that sort of stuff, um, which I'll also link for you below. Uh, but yeah, I thought I would just do it with you guys because you seem to love my decluttering videos and they get everybody in the mood to do it themselves. Hopefully, if you are looking to declutter yourself, this is inspiring, gets you motivated to do it. And leave me a comment below if you enjoy this sort of video and you want more decluttering videos because we've been in our house now for over a year and I just feel like there is a lot of clutter already and it's just staying on top of that. So it just makes me feel so good mentally when we've decluttered. So anyway, Grab yourself a cuppa, get cozy, and let's get into the video. Okay, I haven't prepared, so I want you to see it as it is. This is what we're dealing with. We've got jumpers, cardigans, dresses, blazers, loads of long stuff that does not fit in because it's not long enough. I've addressed that before, but I use all these drawers. So we've got um, underwear, that sort of stuff, and then pajamas and leggings and gym wear. Not that I go to the gym, but you know, lounge wear that I just live in. And then lits, like bits and bobs in there. So we need to look at that. And then up here, up top, is stuff that I don't look at as often. I've got my packing cubes, uh, summer stuff, some trainers, and um, my new summer beach bag. And yeah, it just is so difficult to like I mean everything's falling off hangers to get to anything I can't really get any idea of what I'm going to wear each day so yes I feel like it needs a good old sort out the hardest bit is now in fact the middle bit will be the hardest because you're like why have I done this uh, but we're going to get into it and I'm going to take probably most things out and then I'm just going to pop it all over onto the bed and then I'll have a better clarity of what needs to go and what can stay This is what we need to see, some hangers that have been relinquished. And you may well remember when I last did it, I was talking to you about these velvet ones. They are really grippy and good. But I ended up like slipping back into having normal ones as well. So the aim is to not have too many normal ones and just all be quite uniform. Cause I like that, the way that they all fit in so much better and also using them. Like, so like you could have something like a trouser on this bit and then a shirt over the top. So this is all the stuff for like the winter when the sequins and fluffy things come back around. Uh, this is my to keep uh, pile. So I've got a couple of blazers, a black and a cream one and a green one, which I love. 
I do love a blazer. Oh my goodness. Um, and then these are like some dressier things. There's another blazer there. And a summer dress. And then this is my vintage pile. So things that I just either haven't worn or haven't worn for a long time or it's more like a sort of, I just didn't feel great in it or something like that. So that's for vintage. This one is a charity shop so far. Just some woolly knits in there. Um, but yeah, so far, feeling productive. We can do this. <laughs> Keep going. As you can see, it's just that part of my wardrobe that I've done so far. Don't know if I should put what I'm keeping back in, just so this is a bit more of a cleaner space. Yeah, I'll do that. to get a little bit more clarity I really do suggest this as being a really good way of doing it it also is a great time of year to do it because obviously we're coming into summer and we're gonna have some holidays hopefully let me know in the comments are you guys going on any holidays this year I hope that you do get to go away make some memories I feel like when you do this sort of declutter it's really great to have go to summer wardrobe I suppose because all of my stuff like in here it's like jumpers that I won't be wearing well mind you the summer the British summertime uh, potentially I will be wearing them but yeah lots of things to wear in the summer that just don't fit in the wardrobe and then I can't see what I've got but yes holidays let me know in the comments are you guys going away at all hopefully you are and if you are make sure that you are protected getting your travel insurance is so so important I've had instances where I mean, I've always travelled with travel insurance and thank goodness because sometimes it just gives you that such peace of mind if you do lose something or something goes wrong on holiday that you cannot expect, then it's just invaluable. You have to have it, but obviously make sure you're getting it from a trusted provider. I'm sure you guys would have seen the APTA logo when booking your holiday and actually they wanted to work with me in this video to get you guys to share your holiday mishaps, your any instances where you have had travel insurance and where it has been absolutely life-saving or just giving you that peace of mind, I would love to know in the comments if you've ever found that when you've been away you've needed your insurance. Share your stories with us to encourage other people to make sure that they get their travel insurance as well. Obviously, after you may well know the logo and that is the key thing to look for when booking your holiday, but I actually did not know that I have to do travel insurance as well. They just give such an easy to understand and easily worded policy as well, which is brilliant. So concise, so easy to understand and follow and you just know what you're getting. It just gives you that peace of mind to know that you are covered and that you can just travel without having to worry about things because the last thing you want to do if you're on a, a holiday that you've saved up for loads is to go away without travel insurance and not protected and something unfortunate happened to you and then you not be covered and you know what you're getting for your money and how you're going to be protected on your holiday too. I just found these photos so I keep like my memory box in my wardrobe just for like safekeeping and I just found these photos. This was our very first holiday as a couple together um, doing karaoke <laughs> and having dinner. And I remember having this photo taken. We were being brought our drinks and the guy that was the waiter was wearing the same thing as Stuart. <laughs> and I just remember it being so funny at the time because he looked basically like a waiter. I was like, you're gonna get asked for a drink soon if someone can, if you can get someone a drink. And this was me wowing him with my singing prowess or not so much as you might imagine. But yeah, when you're this young, I think, you know, if you are young watching this, travel insurance is probably the last thing on your mind, but it's just so, so important for peace of mind. But yeah, do share your holiday memories with me in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And if travel insurance has saved the day for you ever, <laughs> then make sure you share that too. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to sorting out my things. I love this top. I used to wear this all the time with like wet look trousers, like leather look trousers but I uh, haven't worn it in the last couple of years. I'm gonna put it in my winter pile, and then when I bring it back out again, hopefully I'll find a new love for it and wear it again. Anyway, yes, let's get back into the decluttering. <sighs> Wish me luck, we are a quarter of the way through. <laughs> I love this. Anyone else is fine, like their 
clothes are always just inside out in their wardrobe. I don't know how that happens. I think because I wash them inside out and then just put them away like that. But yeah, lots to get through. Also, the fact that plugs are in here. It's like the uh, Narnia wardrobe when I discovered this. I was like, oh, just see my different colour. I was like, there's plugs in our wardrobe. But the trouble is I can never get to them to do my hair, because usually I plug in my hair dryer. But where all this stuff's been dumped in there, I can't get to them. So, yeah, that's good now. Good. Also, coat hanger update. Doing quite well with those. This is the charity pile here. Some more vintage stuff and stuff I need to clean, like spots, stains out of. This one is the pile for the loft, and then this is what I'm going to do with now. A lot of this is like probably stuff I've just put here because I don't know what to do with it. So, I mean, I don't need that, do I? A little bag, but then I probably thought, well, I might use that bag for something. You're not going to use the bag, Lara. Get rid of it. Um, okay. See, this is a gym top, or a running top. I haven't had time to put in... No, sorry, I haven't had the space to put in the drawer. So what you need to do is sort the drawer out to then put the thing in. Oh, this is my snuggly. I love this thing. I might keep this out, actually. And this has got loads of Maggie things all over it, because she used to... Oh. Once we miss that. This basically I used to wear when I was editing at night. And she'd come on me and like pour at me. Does anyone else's cat do that when they like just pour at you? And she'd literally tear the whole thing to pieces. But it was okay because it was my Maggie top. Bags, bags, bags. Bikinis. I've actually got a dedicated bikini area for my wardrobe so that can go up there. These are my favourite pyjamas. <laughs> my Primark bad boys that are very trusty, had those for years. Oh see, they've been tucked under there, They're hidden from me. I'm going to speed this up, otherwise we'll be here all day. got that entire thing to sort out now but it will be so good once it's done she says this is an area of my wardrobe that needs so much attention because i love pajama i love a comfy legging as you well know my leggings are like highly recommended i've got loads of them which are actually underneath because this is like what was at the bottom at the top now and 
I just need to like have a good old sort out because so much of this stuff I don't wear. So I need to go through it all and then I'll actually have space rather than like shoveling it in. Anyone else relate to that? Shoving it into the wardrobe when I need to get like my washing away. And then you end up just like not actually wearing what's underneath the top layer because you just like wear it, wash it, wear it, wash it. So yes, let's get into this. So much, so many of these like Maggie destroyed things. Bless her, that's just like a little memory of her. She used to just love pouring at me when I was sat in my pajamas or on the sofa or whatever. Anyway, yes. I'll also link actually, on my Amazon store, I link loads of my favorites of what I've been wearing recently, like pajamas, leggings, clothes, anything like that. So keep an eye over there because I, um, I update that all the time. But I'll put that as a link in the top of the description bar for you as well for um, my favorite clothes and things that I've been wearing. And stuff like that but yeah loads of this i don't even wear anymore so let's go mm -hmm. more than halfway through now the last little bits to put away um, and I'm pleased with how it's looking I'm feeling very organized in this little corner and what I might get is some sort of uh, drawer dividers so that actually you can sack it a little bit better uh, because yeah I feel like that is the way forward because it's just so easy to grab but then I don't know when I've got so many I've really whittled it down actually I've got quite a few things here that actually are not gonna make the cut and they're sort of like got little holes in or big tears or anything like that so that's gonna go and then stuff like that for the charity shop that's to be washed this one I might pop on vintage I'm not sure yet uh, but yeah almost done almost done hardest bit is almost over and look at this I'm done you know I actually think I'm done so I'm not gonna shake my underwear drawer for obvious reasons um, but that's all done and then here I've just got all of my leggings which I wear all the time linked below I've got some gym gear here and then underneath, I say that like I go to the gym, I do not, but you know, if I do. Um, and then some joggers underneath, t-shirts here, and then I've got pyjamas, so summer pyjamas, winter, like longer pyjamas. And then here, I've emptied this whole thing, this is just bags, so just for like if I need to put anything in a bag, obviously. Um, this is a belt box, which I probably don't actually no i'm not going to keep that guys i'm going to get rid of it because that is for that was for this bell which is actually a dupe i will link this one for you below i've got a whole amazon dupes um section of my amazon store as well that's all my like jewelry and belts and things like that and then ooh, as we're going up here this is all of the wardrobe stuff so i have sort of put it in an order so we've got blazers and jackets and then trousers and then some t-shirts and dresses and summery bits and then these are like more actually hold on those trousers should be over there so i'm going to move those to here and then we're going into more of like sort of night out stuff here and then some summer shirts and then into some sort of over shirts and then jumpers and dressing gown so yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. And the fact that I've got this space here, so I've just put some bags here for now. My memory box stuff at the back, my photos, my holiday stuff, holiday photos, and then my current bag that I'm just using at the moment because it's like a throw it all with in one, and then some older bags. And then look at this space. So I can actually start to have longer laying clothes, like stuff that's gonna go further down. And then up here, this is still the same because I looked and actually it was all the same. So that's all my packing cubes and then summer hat and summer bag. So that can actually stay there, that's fine. And then I've got this bag here, which is bikinis. So I can either put them in there, which I probably won't, but it is good to know that I can actually, if I want to, put it in there. And I have got 
space to sort of store them and then basically when I need them. But I could probably put them in the loft to be honest with you. Ah, <sighs> anyway, there we go. I'm done. I feel good. I've got a big pile here. Oh, this is all for the loft, jumpers and things for the winter. That's all for charity, so I need to pop that into a bag and take that into the charity shop. This is all just stuff that's way past its best. It's all broken and holes in it and things like that that I can't donate. And then this little pile is um, to be washed because it's been at the back. It's a little bit musty, I'm not going to lie. So that needs a good wash and then I can start wearing it again. Ah, oh, done. You can see my towel hanging up in the uh, bathroom. Yeah, all done. I hope you enjoyed the declutter with me video. And don't forget to leave me your comments below and talk, start the conversation about holiday mishaps because I feel like reading them just makes me feel like less of a liability. <laughs> if you guys are doing it too thank you so much for watching and for Abta to sponsoring this video and i hope it's given you some motivation to get on with your own decluttering let me know where you would like me to declutter next and i will see you so soon take care bye